Hey guys, this, this is Dave Trevor here. This lesson is entitled Extra Warm-Ups and Range. And um, we're going to be going over some warm-ups that I didn't get a chance to fit into the last lesson. A point I wanted to make about this, though, was that all these warm-ups that I'm doing are used for lots of different genres. Musical theater, opera, you name it. So I'm trying to make it that these warm-ups you can use. So that's the point that I wanted to make for that. Next, the first warm-up is called Video a Morte, and it's a very operatic type sound. It's uh, very deep in the chest and that kind of thing. So um, it goes, Video a Morte, Video a Morte, Video a Morte, and then you go down, Video a Morte, Video a Morte, Video a Morte. So again, it's for that real nice operatic sound, and you can also use it in classical musical theater. So there you go. Next one is called Bumblebee. You find this one really popular with choir, whether it's choir class or whether it's um, a professional choir or whether it's a musical theater course or class or that sort of thing. But you'll hear this a lot and it goes Bumblebee, 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 Bumblebee. And then it goes up. Bumblebee, 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 and then it goes also down. It goes bumblebee, 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 and what it does is it works out the articulators. Articulators are the things in your mouth that produce the sound. You've got the teeth, the lips. Sorry, the teeth, the lips, the gums, and the throat, and uh, the tongue. I think I forgot to say the tongue. And the uh, soft palate. It's the thing in the back of your roof of your mouth that feels soft. It's right before the hard surface area right there. So that's that that one. The next one is called nya, 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 nya. And it's for that really forced forward tight sound. It's like nya, 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 nya. So... Like you're saying, nee, 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 nee. same kind of premise. And it goes like this. And then it goes down. There you have it. So the next thing we're going to talk about is range. What is it? How do I improve it? And what's the one thing that shrinks it in half? So I'll get to that in a minute, but range, the best way to explain range is it's the amount or the length of what a person can sing and to add to that a little bit think of it the fact that you've got eight notes that are in an octave because you hear people saying oh they've got a three octave range or they've got a four octave range what this means is that they've got three sets of eight notes and the notes are um, one two three four five six seven eight seven six five four three two one or more commonly you'll hear it used as do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. So there you go. So that's just something to keep in mind. So if you have a four octave range, again, you have four sets of eight. Pretty simple. And if you need more explanation, get on a piano and get on a keyboard and you can actually see it and ask somebody to help you who knows some theory about piano and keyboard and they can help you, whether it's your teacher or your friends or maybe even your parents. So there you have it. Um, the thing that actually strength or shrinks the range is smoking. Smoking can actually cut it by half. It does the same thing that old age does to singers who've been singing for 30 years and say they're in their 60s. If they don't practice and they just sort of like ugh, let, it, let it kind of die out, that's what's going to happen. Your, your range will shrink. But what smoking does is it, it fast forwards the process times 10. So it's just something to keep in mind. If you guys want to have a big range, you probably shouldn't smoke. Personal opinion, but it's because I've seen it out there in the field. Now, one of my viewers, she had a question, and this was a, it was a great question, because she asked, do these videos teach one how to be a singer? Like, how do I know? I don't know if I have a good voice or not. So, and that's from Artist9555. She, she's making a really good point, which is that it's kind of hard to tell, but what these videos are intended to do is to teach someone who's never sang, or even someone who's had lots of experience, and improve on that area. And... It's personal because you have to think, well, do I have a good voice? And you have to realize that I'm not here to teach people 
to say that they're, they are good singers. I'm here to teach people to learn how to become singers, if they want to become singers, or if they are singers and want to improve on the things that they already know. So that might not be the greatest answer, but um, only you know if you have a good voice. And you'll, you know, maybe you hear things from your mom and your dad, and they're like, oh, you have a good voice, and this and that and the other. But the thing is, is that everybody can always improve on this stuff. And, you know, people aren't stupid. I mean, if you watch things like American Idol, you can tell whether or not the person has a good voice or not. You know what I'm talking about. So there you go. Once again, I want to say thanks to all my viewers and subscribers because you guys are checking me out. This is great, and um, I really appreciate it. Feel free to watch any of my other videos if you feel that you might have missed something or something's not quite adding up because the way I've I put this together and the way I'm going to continue to put this together is I'm going at a, at a step process. I started at the very bottom and I'm working my way up so that hopefully, you know, by like the 12th or 15th lesson, you'll know so much about singing that you'll be able to like actually do it, you know, go impress your friends at karaoke or whatever the case might be. Also, if you would like to have your question answered or featured in an upcoming video, go ahead and leave me one in the comment section below right here or on my channel page and I'll do my best to possibly answer it. And the next lesson we're going to be talking about tone. What is tone and pitch? Also I'm also going to be giving you guys a trick about staying on pitch that's really great and I learned it in college about uh, four years ago but it's awesome. So tune in and check that out. And as always feel free to leave me a comment, a uh, five star rating, subscribe, uh, big yellow button at the top, big yellow button at the bottom. And until next time, I will talk to you guys later. All right, take care.